It's obviously it's been a ton of fun so far getting to know the guys and everything, and it's been uh, it's been fun to see some different sweaters and different rinks and just the same ones that we've seen for the last two years. Uh, after a long day of travel, uh, getting into Prince George, it is good to get a 2-1 victory. I thought we played our best in the third, and we build on that. We rely on uh, Barney to be good, and he's been good back-to-back -back nights. Power play's been looking a little bit better as well. Nate Danielson's wearing his first of the season. How special is it for Nate to finally get on the board? Yeah, that, that'll help him out a lot. He has the confidence. He's a good player, and he'll figure that piece out. And our power play's had some really good looks, and uh, they'll continue to contribute to our success going forward. It's good to be on the West Coast, and I hope our guys are enjoying the time as much as I am. We know it's going to be a tough test against Vancouver. They've got a good hockey club, and it's always a hotly contested game in that building on a Friday night. They're a structured team, well coached, and they play hard, so we'll have to show up. Yeah, I mean, we don't know much about them yet. We haven't really never played them or seen them really yet, so I'm, uh, I'm sure it'll be a hard game, and we're looking forward to it. It's a Giants team who also has a lot of young draft prospects. They got two vets, one of them your former teammates in Ty Thorpe. How special is it going to be to go head to head against your former buddy, Brandon Native? Yeah, no, totally. I mean, uh, me and Thorpe had uh, lots of time together that first year, obviously being two younger guys on that team. And um, no, I shared lots of lots of special times with Thorpe. Uh, uh, love, uh, love him as a teammate. And, and tonight it's going to be fun to go head to head. I mean, uh, no friends out there, but he's definitely a guy I'm uh, excited to, to see and play against. Yeah, I mean, you look better at our goaltending situation, and it's it's pretty special right now. Um, obviously, those are the games that those are the games that get you groomed for playoffs, and, and that's the type of games that when we played Red Deer last year, it's it's six straight games like that. So um, it's important to be able to win games like that, and, and like you said, uh, uh, Carson's been really good for us, and obviously, if if we can all keep that going here, we're, we're gonna have lots more success. It is the Langley Event Center rocking here in Greater Vancouver. Langley, British Columbia. Chase Johnson here, the new voice of the Brandon Wheat Kings. You're listening to Verdon Bertle, mainline king of trucks. Brandon Wheat Kings hockey here on Q Country. It is the 3 2 and 1. Brandon Wheat Kings traveling to the LEC to take on the 1 2 1 and 2 Vancouver Giants. Mason Ward now with a blast through the point. Rebound, they score! The puck will go off a stick and in, and I believe that's Roger McQueen, ladies and gentlemen, scoring his first ever Western Hockey League goal. And the Brandon Wheat Kings have struck first blood here inside the LEC. Down low pass, there's Richie. Cross ice, they score! A beautiful tic-tac-toe play over to Brent Highland. The Wheat Kings, just like that, have evened up the scoring. It's 2-2. Oh, what a save made by Feichmann! Jesper Feichmann with one of the saves of the season of Ryland Rorisma. Right side, chase on, chase on, looks, toe drag, scores! Jake chase on in front of all of his friends and family here inside the Langley Event Center has got the go ahead goal. Tipped on, they score! Oh, what a play by Jake chase on, tipping that puck in with a beautiful finish. Rylan Rorisma and the Brandon Wee Kings have got themselves a beautiful, lovely insurance goal. It's 4-2. to two. It's going to do it. The Brandon Wee Kings will win this hockey game 4-2 to two over the Vancouver Giants. And they are now 3-0 and oh on this Western road trip. That's some, that was a great, great shot by Warren. Just great feeling to get off your chest be able to get some more now. But yeah, Richie and Anderson are great guys to play with. They know how to play, both 20-year-olds. They've been in the league for a while, and they're just easy to play with. Yeah, we really liked that game. I'd say it was uh, probably the best 60 minutes we've played all year. Uh, emotional game, a lot of fights. Uh, a highly contested game. I think uh, really liked our battle level and the compete. 